Welcome to the 20th CSS tutorial. And so we're continuing on with the box model. And we're pretty much done with the box model. I just wanted to make a few more points. So let's go ahead and open up our web page. And let's scroll down here and take a look at our paragraph 3 element. Now the first point I want to make is that the background color property only applies to the padding and content. So we can see the content has the background color and the padding has the background color. But by the time we get to the border, we have to give the border its own unique color. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this out and let's open up our style sheet and let's go down to paragraph three again. Now the second point I wanna make is that you can combine all of the padding properties into one. So you remember in the last video when we specified padding hyphen top, uh, left, right, we wrote all of those individual properties out. You can actually combine those into one property. And so this right here essentially equals this. We're putting 20 pixels of padding all the way around the content box. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this over here. And so the way this works is this value equates to the padding top value. This is for the right, this is for the bottom, and this is for the left. So let's go ahead and put in 70 pixels for the left side of the padding. And let's go ahead and save this. And you can see our paragraph now has 70 pixels on the left. So think of this like a shortcut. And it really it depends on how you want to do this. I actually prefer to have all four of the properties in here because it's easier for me to read. But some people prefer the shorthand. So it's really what you prefer. So let's actually switch this back to 20 pixels because I only want 20 pixels of padding around my content. Now this same principle also applies to the margin property. So again, you don't have to type out margin hyphen left and margin hyphen top. You can just combine them all into one property. Now we can also combine the border properties. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just get rid of this hyphen color. We'll keep the same parameters. And there you can see, we've got this combined into one property. So this property equals all three of these properties right here. So let's save this and let's open up our web page. And you can see everything looks the same. They are identical. Again, it's just how you want to maintain your CSS code. I actually, again, prefer to have all these typed out, but you may prefer the shorthand version. So let's close this out. Now I'm going to show you how to eliminate margins around your elements. And that's the value right there. As you can see, zero. Makes a lot of sense, right? Let's actually take a copy of this style sheet. Because I don't want to save these values that we're going to put in here. So we'll restore this one in a minute. So let's just open this up now. And let's go ahead and set paragraph 4 to a value of zero. And let's go ahead and save this. Let's open up the index page. And as you can see, it got rid of all of our margins. But you'll notice that the margin up here, there's still some margin here between these two elements. And the reason is, is our paragraph 3 still has margin space. So we need to get rid of that as well. So let's go back to our source. And let's give paragraph 3 a margin of 0 as well. And we'll save this. And there you can see. There is no margin between these two elements now. But you'll notice that there's still some margin on the side. Where is that coming from? That is actually coming from the body element. So let's go ahead and throw up a border around the body element. And we'll just take this and copy and paste it up into the body. Let's save this. We'll open up the index. And there you can see that margin is outside the body element. So that margin space is part of the body box model. So we want to get rid of that. So all we do is put the margin zero property in the box element. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll save this. And now you see we've got no margins whatsoever. Okay, so let's go back here and I'm actually just going to delete this now because we don't want to save this. We will restore the old CSS copy that we had. And that is going to do it for this video. In case you haven't noticed, I have been pasting the source out into the message boards. So I'll do that for this line of code that we produced today. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video.